Right, we are doing, uh, we're actually, did I tell you this? We're jumping to chapter 10. Okay, so we're skipping chapter 9. We're going to chapter 10, which is circles. All right, and I got a few circles over here we can use. Now, the beginning of this, this first lesson right here isn't really all that difficult. It's stuff that you've seen before. Uh, we will definitely get into stuff in this chapter of things that you have not seen. And uh, there's a lot of stuff, as simple as a circle is, there's a lot of stuff to learn about circles. So let's start with things that we already know. And um, let's do this. Let's talk about the center of the circle. Okay, well, I've got right here. Let's go to a different color. Let's go red. It's easy to see. So that right there, obviously. Oh, what is that? No, it's because the fill should be nothing. Okay, that actually looks kind of cool. All right, so uh, that right there is the center of the circle. Pretty obvious. I don't think we have to say much about that, do we? All right, it's just as far from the outside of the circle as every other point on the outside of the circle. Would you agree? All right, that's what makes it the center. It's not just because it's inside the circle anywhere. Okay, that point is exactly the same distance from every point on the circle itself. When I say on the circle, I'm talking about this right here. A lot of people think of it as a flat disk and this being part of the circle as well. When I say on the circle, it's this part right here. Okay, so that's on the circle. So this point right here would be on the circle. If I had a point here, where is the center? Is the center on the circle? No. What would you say? No. Say it. No. Eh, would you say through the circle? It's, it's on or in, right, inside or in the circle. That's what I would say, okay? So this point is in the circle. What about a point out here? If this is in the circle, this is on the circle, then this would be outside the circle or out, you know, outside or out, the, out of the circle, I guess, if you want to call it this. Quick, Andrew. Okay, this is the radius right here, all right? From, if you draw a line segment, okay, from the center to a point on the circle. It doesn't have to be horizontal like this. It could go anywhere around here. Okay, this is the radius of the circle. We've all learned that before, haven't we? And we use the letter R to represent the radius. Pretty easy. Now, what if I took this radius and I extended it all the way to the other side? So now it's not the, now this whole line I'm looking at now, actually I kind of, Moved it up a little bit. Let's put it right there. Yeah, that whole thing right there is the what? Diameter. It's the diameter. So let's try to do it like that. There we go. So that would be the diameter. Now tell me something. Oops, I can't spell. E R. <laughs> there we go. A little rough. That's okay. No, I'm not going to fix it. I'm going to keep it just like that. That's why I'm keeping it like that. <laughs> All right, so this is the diameter right here, uh, which is the whole entire thing. This is the radius. Give me a relationship between the diameter and the radius, M Monica. Well, the diameter is two times the radius. Okay, good. So the diameter is twice the radius. Make sense? Or if I talked about the radius, the radius is what? Uh, it's half of the, di the diameter. Right. Or the, oops, diameter over two. Or half the diameter. Okay, either way. All right, let me pause. Somebody's calling me. All right. Um, I had a phone call, but that I turned it off. So yep. <laughs> here we go. Let's uh, we got diameter, we got radius, we have center, and let's do this. Let's talk about another. Oops, I got to click on there. There we go. Uh, let's just go from. Let's not do that. I think if you double. What's that, TJ? Okay, that thing right there. Now it's not a radius. A radius has to hit what? It's got to hit the end of the cir circle, which it does right, which this thing does right here. But the radius has to hit the center of the circle. It goes from the center to any point on the circle. The diameter is not just any line. What is it? It's a, it's a line or a line segment that does what? It goes through the center. Okay, the diameter has to go through the center. This right here cannot be the diameter. Why not? Because it doesn't go through the center. Good. Okay. We call this thing a chord. That. That might be something that you may not have learned before. Has anybody heard of that? Yeah. Okay, it's, it's called a chord. Is it a what term? term. No, it's just, uh, that's what they call it. They call this a chord, all right? So a chord, a chord goes from here to here. 
Okay, the end points of the line segment have to be on the circle. So, for instance, if I, let's say, I did that. Is that a chord? No, it's not. Okay, it's just a line segment that's inside the circle. Okay, that's not a chord. What if I did that? Is that a chord? No. no, it's just a line segment, all right? It's all it is that's uh, actually going through intersecting the circle. But it doesn't hit two points. What if I did this? What if I said that right there? Now, is that whole thing a chord? No. Nah. If I, watch, let's call this line segment A, B, C right here. Now, B, C would be a chord, all right? Line segment B, C would be a chord. Line segment AB would not be one, and line segment AC would not be one. But line segment BC would be a chord. Does that make sense? Oh, by the way, let's talk about this. Let's uh, name this center right here, the uh, uh, Q. All right, just for Andrew, we'll name it Q. So uh, we call this, remember how we name uh, like triangles and parallelograms and all these different things, triangles and all angles and all that kind of stuff? Well, we're going to name a circle as well. So we call this circle, and we always name it by the radius. Or, I'm sorry, by the center, by the center. Whatever the center is, it's one point. So we call this circle what? Q. Q. This is how they draw a circle. They don't just draw an O, but they draw an O with a little dot in the middle. I guess that shows the center. All right, and Andrew, please. All right, and this is Q. So this is circle Q. All right? Everybody with me on that? So that's pretty easy to understand. All right, um, I think we covered pretty much everything on that little section here. Let's do this just for fun. Let's do, um, let's call this E um, and, I don't know, G. Uh, give me the name of a, a radius of this circle. Monica, go ahead. QG. Okay, QG would be a radius. Is that the only radius? No, no. EQ e or QE. I don't think, let me check. I don't believe it makes any difference. Or e -A or e -B. I don't think it makes any difference. E B, e, e B would not be a radius. No, it wouldn't. E B from here to here, it's got to hit the center. Now Q B, if that was marked, if if there was a line in between the two, that would be a radius. Q C would be a radius also. Okay, if there was a line in between the two, line seven connecting the two. Um, but EB would not be because it has to go through the center. Um, I was just looking this up. I've never, you don't hear people talk about the radius being GQ or EQ. Usually you start at the center, but I don't think that's a known, I don't think that's a, uh, something that it has to be true. I just looked in the book, everything was going from the center out, but I don't think you have to do it that way. Okay, you could call it GQ, but for the most part, I think to be consistent with what we do, the radius would be QG, and it's a line segment, isn't it? So remember way back in the day, the beginning of the year we did this stuff, so we mark it as a line segment, QG, or what else? QE, we mark that as a line seg segment as well. All right, make sense? Yes. All right, let's just do a quick little example right here. Let's put up another circle. Let's scooch it out of the way. And let's do this. I'm just, this is straight from the book. It says, oh, they do use Q on this one. How about that? And V. And let's make another line. Doesn't look exactly like the picture in the book, but that's okay. We can still work with it. All right. And that line is T U. T U. All right. And it says uh, if QV is 8 inches, so watch, I'm going to draw it right on the picture itself. I kind of like to do it that way best. So QV is 8 inches, and it says what is the diameter? That, oh my goodness, that's so easy. didn't even need the other stuff in there. Andrew, what is it? Quick. Okay, 16. That's easy. If you know what the radius is, now they don't tell you in the problem that QV is the radius. You have to look at the picture, okay? So I look at the picture, see that, oh, QV is the radius. It's 8, so the diameter must be, be 16. So what if I asked you what TQ was? That's 8, okay? You don't even have to do any math on that. You can see that QT is a what? QT? It's a radius. And QU is also a radius. So that would be 8. And that would be 8. TU, which is the diameter, would be 16. Make sense? Yeah, that's pretty easy. Okay.
Okay, I'm going to stop this.